It is good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I always, always have problems and concerns when I have to. When I have to miss the worship service. Amen. I don't know about you, but I get, don't seem to get, be able to get it together the rest of the week. Verses, you may be seated. Each and every day, we are faced with having to make choices in every area of our lives at some time or another. We are going to have to make a choice. It does not matter who you are, how much money you might have, what position that you hold. At some time or another, you're going to have to make a choice. Someone is swimming, and all of a sudden they start to drown, and somebody throw them a life preserver. And in other words, without saying anything, you're saying choose. Someone walk up and put a 45 pistol in your face and tell you, you have a choice. Amen. I know that sounds kind of comical. But Think about, in that particular instance, what choice are you going to make? It tells me that the choice that you make, the consequences, huh, are going to be felt for a while. Reverend J. Reverend Johnny mentioned a while ago in his prayer about the senators having to make a choice. And the choices that you often make may not be the best for others, nor even for themselves. In family situations, my dears, you have to make a choice in your home. Just this morning, I'm pretty sure, if you are alive, you had to make some kind of choice. Whether you were coming to church, whether you were going to be able to worship God, whether you were going to give anything in an offering, just you had to make a choice. I remember when I, the children was, was growing up, my wife used to say something to them as it relates to choices. And, 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 and whether the choice or the decision, same thing. She would always say, make good decisions. Amen. And so, and so I thought about that in, in, in our text in our text today. I, I would that you would turn to uh, Deuteronomy. Uh, if you don't have your Bibles, I wish you would. You can put it up on your iPhone, whatever the situation might be. But why don't you look at Deuteronomy chapter number 30. Be 
because sometimes we might say, well, how do you make a decision? You get all of the information that you need to make that decision, and then after all of that, people make dumb decisions. If you have that, I want to uh, read that uh, from, this is going to be from the New uh, King James Bible, and since it's on the, on the overhead, why don't you all read it along with me? Shall we read that together? I call heaven and earth witness against you today that I have set before you. Amen. You may be seated. In our text today, God is set before his people. Amen. In the text, he's, the Lord says, I set before you today. And you can uh, determine whether this is a choice situation or not. He said, I set before you life and death. Huh? Yeah. Life and death and blessings and curses. All right. Moses here is sharing with God's people what the Lord had told him to share, it is his final really address to these people because Moses had become very old and the Lord was about to uh, replace him. And so if you would read the text, start to read at chapter number 28 and read all the way through chapter Number 30. And if you read in chapter 28, you will see there he began to list the blessings if you would obey what the Lord is saying. Are you with me? There are some blessings that you will receive. Now, out of those two chapters, are you with me? There are a large number, there are some uh, 97 verses in those two chapters, 28 and 29. 14, listen to me well, 14 of those verses deal with the blessings. I, I, I want that to register to you now. Y'all got that one? Yes. 14, you have that in your mind, and, and you thought about the 97 that I've already shared. Are you praying with me? Amen. Amen. And so if you would do some very simple subtraction, you will find that 83 of those verses deal with the curses that God is going to put on his people if they are disobedient. Are you with me? I, I sure hope you all with me today. Amen. This is a very, very important text. But, but the way that God is, God understands that people don't always do what's best for them. Right. Say amen if you can. Amen. We don't always do what's best. So the Lord says, look, 
uh, uh, I have set before you because there are some folk who are running around saying that God, uh, he gives you a choice. You perhaps have said that yourself. Oh, the Lord has given us a choice. But look at the text. God says, I set life and death before you. But what does he come back and say? He says, choose life. And if you really think about that, God is not begging us. God is not giving us a decision. God is saying, choose life. That, 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 my dears, has command all around it. Because who in their right mind would choose to die? Are you with me? Amen. If there's anybody in here that would choose to die, then uh, please divorce me from your presence. Because things make it, you know, it, 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 they all, it also may take out its surroundings. Are y'all with me? Amen. We, we have all kind of choices. Young people even have choices uh, uh, at school, whether you want to go to school or not. Huh? Do, do I have any young folk in here? Amen. They make choices. They make choices as to uh, their peers whether they're going to submit or bow to peer pressure. Are you with me? Yeah. Amen. That's why I tell you, well, you know, they put, but you know how peer pressure is. Yeah, I know how it is, but it's not a one-sided situation. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Just like your peers put pressure on you. Are you so weak that you can't put pressure on them to get them to think in the same way that you think? Look, look, my dear, I had peer, I had peers in my time, huh? But I remember a mother that said, "Look, when the boys or what have you, when they go to do things that you know is wrong, you always can come home." And when you come home, I can testify to the fact that you wasn't with her. But we don't want to look like, you know, we are men's dependents or whatever you call it. Yeah, we got to be with the fellas. Or we, we have to be with the young lady. No! Choose. Do the right thing. Amen. Amen. You know, it's, it's sort of like, uh, uh, what's this? Sh the TV show, Let's Make a Deal. That TV show is where uh, they, they, they put something out there uh, uh, for you that looks pretty good and but then you can't take it. They'll tell you you can have this. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. you can have what's behind. Yeah, yeah these three curtains. Yeah. Has anybody seen that show? Oh, bless the Lord. And, and it gives you that, that choice. But, but wouldn't it be nice because sometimes they will choose the what is behind the curtain yeah, 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 yeah. and they'll come out with a piece of candy. Are y'all praying with me? What would have really been nice? What would have really been good if somebody, when they say, if you're gonna choose behind the door, Choose door number two because that's where the good stuff is. 
But that's not how the game works. Say amen if you can. You have to be the one to choose. But there are consequences if you choose the wrong thing. Now looking at the text here today, I, I don't see how anybody in their right mind would choose a curse over a blessing. You would think that, wouldn't you? Amen, lights. You would think that there's nobody who would choose death over life. But think about it. They do it every day. Are y'all praying with me? There are folk that Go to churches on Sunday morning and know that they are out of the will of God. They will know that they have not accepted the one that will, can give them life. And when the invitation is given, they will sit there and look at them. And after a while, when the benediction is given, they will get up. And walk out. Are you praying with me? And guess what? God know that. So he says, choose life. Y'all see that in the text here? Amen. Amen. Choose life. And look, my dear, it has some repercussions here. Look, at the end of the verse, you say that both you and your descendants may live. Parents, parents, there are things that you might do today that will be destructive to your children. People think that, you know, because I don't want to go to church, that the choice that I, I made, I ain't going, I'm going to stay and, 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 and cool it. Because the, 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 there are games that are on the TV today. I got my cold ones in the freezer. Oh, bless the Lord. And, 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 and I, got, I got my remote control in my hand. And I'm gonna just take it easy. I ain't going to that church today. But you have to be in mind that it is more than about you. Because if you have children walking around, they are not going either. And people are talking about breaking. It. The cycle of all kind of other stuff. We need to break the cycle of not recognizing God. I've lived, I've lived long enough, Amen, to believe that believe that there's something about, huh? the name of Jesus. I've lived long enough to believe that amen, being in his care is crucial. Are you with me? I look, 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 I, I, I was over at the VA uh, hospital the other day and uh, folk asked me, you, have you had your flu shot yet? I say no. And my wife said they got a table out there. They're giving flu shots. Now I'm not going, I know I got folks that, you know, I got sick. 
because I didn't, I, I took that flu shot. Well, you might have got sick anyway, and you may have died. It may have been the flu shot. Is anybody in your prayer with me? It may have been the flu shot that kept you alive. So ask me, did I get the flu shot? You bet your bottom dollar. I told him to give me the strong one. Because I'm old. I need something that's going to fight you against these diseases and what is going on in this life because of much sin that surrounds us. Give me the shot. That's what folk miss. When it comes to Jesus. You know, it, it, look, looking at this, can you, can you see what God is doing? I, th I, I thought about not mentioning this, but what was God doing here? This was not a request. It was a command. Are you with me? All you do is look at scripture. Everything that God does, it has spiritual implications. Are you with me? Amen. And God is saying here that there are some things and you notice in the first part, he say, I call heaven and earth as witnesses against you. Are you with me? It is more than the fact that they would be alive spirit, uh, 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 physically, huh? but by choosing life, you will be alive Eternity. Right. Why? All right. Because if you just think, who is saying that I am life? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You remember, don't you, at the grave of Lazarus, when Martha said, Look, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Jesus said, I got news for you. I am. I am the resurrection and the life. So what God is saying here, you need to choose life. Choose life. He wasn't just talking about the end of their earthly existence. You need to choose that person that is life. Let me share a few things with you that he said in verse number 20. I'll be through. We can have some communion. Right. Choosing, choosing life, the Bible says here, will produce three very important offspring. First of all, choosing life. We learn in the text that life gives birth. To love. Think about it. Spiritually. Life. Give birth. To love. He says here that you may love the Lord. Your God. 
We, we look, we are incapable of loving, huh? God until we respond to his love. I, I hope I got that over. We are incapable of loving God until he respond, we respond to the love of God. That's why he says choose life. In other words, you are choosing his son who is love. And you can't love God's way until you have chosen the one that is love. Boy, I'm sure how, I sure hope y'all get that. Uh, are y'all praying with me today? Amen, amen. amen. Uh, uh, as we look at, we love in spite of our sins. First John 4 and 10 say, in this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be a propitiation for our sins. I don't let that don't let that word, you know, that uh, ten dollar word, scare you. Propitiation is only that which satisfies God's wrath, and the death of Christ did that. Are you with me? Amen. In other words, when God, when, when Jesus came and died on the cross, God said, "Okay, I accept that." In other words, I ain't angry no more. Amen. I ain't mad with you. Amen. 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 Because Jesus' death has taken care of that. Amen. Christ proved on the cross. He proved his love on the cross. And, 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 and sisters, many of you all just accept word service instead of proof. Now, if you want, that's up to you. Amen. What are you talking about, preacher? You get all spin out of shape. He said, oh, baby, I love you. It ain't did nothing for you in the last two years. <laughs> and every time he come back, baby, you, look, I, I watch this show on TV. This woman got hickeys all over her head. And, and, and this dude talking about, well, you know, you did. You, you called me to do that. You, you know I love you, don't you? And my God, you know, beat the woman half to death. <laughs> ain't no love nowhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. No, no Look for, my dear. Look for some proof. Right. Yes, I just threw that in. It ain't going to cause you a pity. Yeah. Moving right along. My dear, we love him because we he first loved us. So life, are you with me? Give birth to love. But that's not all. There's another one there. Number two, love gives birth to obedience. In every text, that you may obey his voice. My dear, you can't call yourself yes, loving the Lord on, and Come just on. disobedient Come as on. you can be. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. Even you as parents, you feel a lot better doing something for your children if they are obedient. Are you with me? Amen. Now y'all, y'all, y'all do. I ain't gonna be giving nothing to nobody. And every time I ask them to do something, I ain't doing it. And they stick out there, mouth at me, and don't want to do what I tell. Look, you need to be here before twelve o'clock. 
I come in when I get ready. I do what I'm big enough to do. And you say, oh, okay. I got to let them make their own decision. Are you kidding me? Y'all got that part. I got a lot more, but I'm going to move along here. Amen, amen. Uh, 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 you, that you may obey. The scripture says obedience is better than sacrifice. Huh? If you obey the Lord, you won't even have to make no sacrifices because he will take your obedience. Are y'all with me? Amen. Amen. Wanting to do the will of God is one of the first signs of being a child of God. You just want to do what God said. You know, you, you, you can't wait to do. I've heard too many people tell you, yeah, I know what the Bible say, but. But. Ain't no buts. Tell me that there's a problem somewhere. Yes, you may not just be in the fellowship. Oh, no. oh, no. All right, I gotta go now, y'all. I moved on my time. Lastly, lastly, obedience give birth to opportunities that you may cling to Him. Obeying Christ enables us to walk closely with him. My dears, you can't even get close to, you can't get close to no enemy. Not that you would want to. Because they ain't going to let you. Are y'all praying with me? Amen. But, 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 but if you are obedient uh, you beginning with love and that you obey, you can walk closely uh, with the Lord. Uh -huh. People at times would say that, well, you know, uh, I try to be the best Christian that I can possibly be. Well, for all intents and purposes, you just may not be a Christian. <laughs> because unless you do the prerequisite. I don't care whether folk get mad or not. You just ain't. I don't know if that's the right correction. Y'all you know, all you, all you knowledgeable college graduates in here. Amen. But you just ain't. You ain't a part of the fellowship. So as I close today. Amen. God has great plans yes. for all of his children. Are you with me? Those plans develop as we obey him. Are you with me? Yes, yes. So there are some questions that you must be able to answer. And either one of these questions may be a way that you are disqualified. First, have you made the choice that leads to loving God? Have you made that choice? Has responding to God's love, you uh, has responded you to obey him? Regardless of how the orders may sound, will you obey the Lord? Because you love him. Are you, if you, are you seizing every opportunity to serve him? Are you with, don't get quiet on me now, I'm through almost. If you have not decided to choose life, then none of these things are going to matter to you. 
Are you praying with me? Amen. And the old fool used to say, it's getting late in the evening. And the sun is going down. You might think you have all the time in the world, but it's getting late in the evening. And the sun is going down. You might think that you can serve God when you get ready, but I stop by to tell you it's getting late in the evening. It is time to choose. Are you going to choose life? Or are you choosing death? My dear, the Lord goes out of his way to tell you to choose life. Because he knows. Look, that, that, you know, there are folk that tell me, and I've been in discussion, well, what about all the other different groups? You mean to tell me that, that Christ is the only way to get to God? Well, that's what my book tells me. I don't know about them other books. Uh, are y'all praying with me? God is not going to feel sorry for anybody. If you don't follow the way that God has set forth, you just will not make it. So the Lord says, choose. Choose life. In other words, he's saying, choose his son. God is too good. Let somebody go to hell. Yeah. Choose his son. And you won't have to go. There's a show that came on some years ago, and every time it come on, I, I want to watch it. Ain't no big thing. Ain't a lot of cursing, and ain't no drinking, whatever. No, no woman chasing. It. It's called a day the earth stood still. And just before he left, yeah. he laid out some uh, alternatives here. Yeah. And he said, I'm leaving now. Yeah. But you need to ponder what I have told you. The choice is up to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can do what we ask and live, or you cannot do it and face destruction. Yes. Yes. And he says the choice, the choice. is up choice. to you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. May he keep you in our prayer. Amen. Amen. The doors of the church are open. You're here today and you have not as an active young